Anne Boleyn, King Henry VIII's second wife, was found guilty of high treason by a jury of her peers in the King's Hall at the Tower on May 15, 1936, being executed by decapitation May 19, 1536, being thought to have been around 34 or 35 years old at the time. She had been charged with having a sexual relationship with five people, including her own brother, George Bolin, a.k.a. Lord Rochford, and the king's good friend and groom, Sir Henry Norris. According to the indictments, not only had she slept with these men as a way of giving in to her own pleasures, but she had also supposedly conspired with the men to kill her husband. She was incarcerated in the Tower of London on May 2nd, 1536 for adultery. At her trial, she was depicted as unable to control her own lusts as she denied the charges but was eventually found guilty of treason and condemned to be burned or beheaded at the king's pleasure. Her only crime had been her failure to actually give King Henry a son. The most famous king in English history he married six times in his quest to get a male heir to his throne, as he divorced his first wife, Catherine of Aragon, to marry Anne, and the marriage led him to break, as the marriage did lead him to have a daughter from Anne, but not a son. It was later revealed by historian Sandra Vasoli that despite Henry's brutality towards Anne, he later regretted his actions as he laid on his deathbed in 1547 with great grief over his treatment of his ex-wife and his daughter Elizabeth. Either way, it's a very sad, disturbing tale of a whirlwind romance that ended in death just because of the times and the belief of the need to bear a child to have the hire to the throne. It's a sad story, and it's one that lives on in infamy to this day.